I mean, not to be weird here, but this character is very attractive. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hello, Vegetable Brethren. It's your favorite disabled guy, that disabled guy, and this is a new game. But it is a new game, but it's new for me. I think this came out in about, what, 2016, maybe earlier? Can't remember. But I just saw it on Steam. I thought why well, not give it a go because it seemed interesting. It's basically a point and click detective game called Kathy Rain. Okay, detective is brought. So, I don't like detective stuff and I found it quite interesting. And also, since I haven't got myself adapted just yet, I'm doing playing point and click stuff. So, I thought this would be a good playthrough to do on the channel. So, I hope you guys enjoy this and, uh, Let's get into the game. And if you do enjoy this, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out a lot more than you think. And I hope you enjoy. Hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. Uh oh. Oh, God. God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. So, there won't be as much talking for me because this is a story driven game. But I'll try not to talk over the characters talking. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. Okay, she's definitely drunk or high. One of the two. Probably both. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... You got... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... She's hot as fuck. Wait, hear me out! So, I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. Okay. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. I, I, I like this woman. And get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? Oh, curious. You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him. Oh, I get to answer. Uh, I really don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a kid a lifetime ago. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that one. I haven't seen him since I was a kid. A lifetime ago. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. You're so suspicious. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. She stoked you. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're going to help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. Here's a point. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Uh, <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Okay, so we go to the next day? Okay. This game seems very interesting, actually. September 25th, 1995. Day one. Okay. Oh, oh God, God make it me. stop. Do I click it? Do I... Do I... Oh, I can't. Uh... Turn it off. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Okay, noted. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. Oh, God. Friends like that. No. I'm so getting a new roommate. Yeah, it does. That's what I was thinking. Getting a new roommate if she does that. Oh, did I click past on Big Max? I think see. Oh, suitcase. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Looks like Barbie threw up on that suitcase. Mildred. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. <laughs> Mira. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood and contempt for humanity check. Apart from the makeup, that kind of is just me. Contempt for humanity. What's in the closet? Uh... 
I can certainly see the appeal of blindly rummaging through Eileen's clothes, but seriously, I've got better things to do. Oh, wait, not so a roommate, uh, wardrobe. Oopsie. Uh, that's a schedule. Eileen's right schedule. There. There's a note for today. Set alarm clock for Kathy. Can't have her miss the funeral. <laughs> she reminded us have to remind her friend to remind her. Okay, uh, right, Color printer. printer. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Color printers are pretty much around everywhere now, so. Well, this is a game basically 1995, so that would make sense. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, uh, some, uh people came in my room. That's the problem when you're disabled, uh, when you have people. Uh, everyone comes in and out your room, but really giving you time. Especially when I'm trying to record. Anyway, let's check this computer. Uh, Think about the computer. What do you think about a computer? But okay. I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. A computer, that is. Not a geek. I wasn't about to ask that. I, I know how to use a geek. Even though everyone uses computers now, so it's not dated. But you know, whatever. Scanner. It's some advanced scanner thingy. It can scan pictures, tapes, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I don't need to explain that to me. I don't know why it told me that. Can I use the phone? Can I just throw it around at people? Or I don't have any numbers to put in, so it's no point. Can I go back to bed? Nah, I just got up. Oh, okay, I thought I could do that, but okay, what's in there? Okay, notebooks, you can. I haven't read written notebooks. anything in it yet. How do I write to I'll write down clues in this as I. Okay, clues. What's this? Can I combine? I've got a stun gun. A girl can never be too safe. True. Uh, the only thing my deadbeat dad left me. Uh, deadbeat father. Of course, she had daddy issues. We are, <laughs> that explains the gap. Uh, which isn't bad. I actually, actually quite like it, to be honest. But anyway. Started when I was 12 and never looked back. Pretty much the only thing keeping me sane. Oh, cigarettes, uh, of course. Uh, well, so far, this seems pretty interesting, and the character, I quite like this woman, she, she, she seems great. If, if she was real, you know, I probably would. Alright, let's go and see, go to the funeral. Oh, look at a badass motorbike! Yeah, the Harley Davidson going on over there. So I would have expected it to be more black, considering what she's wearing, but... Do like a red works too. Okay, so we're here. Right, uh, bike a chick. Well, here we are. I mean, not to be weird at all, but this character is. Very attractive. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Okay. God, uh, I really need a smoke. All right, can I? Does anyone object? There's no one there, love. Then they should talk to dead people, because I do that. Dead people rule. I don't. I don't do that. Do I? I'm a witch. I see dead people. Dead people rule, right? Because they can't object. Two percent. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. Oh, do I just go this way then? Okay. A family mausoleum. The family must have been. Yeah, for only one thing, can we enter it? No reason to go in there. Oh. Okay, here's the funeral. Okay, we're here. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community. And a decorated war hero. A uh, crap father, apparently. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I don't think he's coming back, mate. Who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. Okay. To him be glory forever. Amen. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. Oh, let's talk to Mrs. Rain. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Uh, no, it's from Mrs. Rain, not Chocolate Rain. We're not going to 2010 YouTube. Have we met, Anne? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? She doesn't even remember who she is. Jesus, that's awful. You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. That wasn't your deadbeat father. Right, I really care. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. She's like. Now that she does have issues, she really wants to see him. He's dead now, so he can't. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Wait, was it grand? Sorry, grand oh, it's a grandfather, not a dad. Sorry. Got my got wrong. Uh, also, Mom took him away from them. Okay. Goodness. We have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Oh, her dad's somewhere completely different. Oh, he was a bit confused for a minute. Sorry Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. Well, okay, then. Uh... Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. I was Grandpa, yeah. Grandpa, Grandpa. The Red Park of January. Oh, is that his? Just surviving rain, May 1924 to 1995. Oh, he was pretty old there, wasn't he? Kevin Cummings. Ah, uh, Cummings. Jimmy Myers. So then you'd be with Eric Mitchell. David Spellman, Benjamin Hayward. Can we check no in here? No reason to go in there. Oh, I was hoping we could. It says price. Price. Okay, maybe that might be significant later. Dark. Oh, okay, let's talk to the priest. You don't want to get me started. Let's just say me and the humble servants of God have a history of not getting along. Yeah, same here. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always. No, to I don't really, to be honest. Is that so? Don't even want to find a cow. Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to but turn away. It's crazy about religion, is. But I mean, no hate to it. Do what you want, but not what I think. He basically insinuated she's on a simple path. Yeah. And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that you're all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Yeah, because most of the Catholic priests touched children years ago. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Well, not, not anymore. Allegedly, you know, you don't want to get sued, do you? But, you know. Alright, then. Just go to the old lady's house. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, get it. Alright, let's go to the rain residence. Grandma, anybody home?
Okay, she's not here. Right, so we're here at the house. Uh, let's check the living room, shall we? Oh, hello, oh, dear. Is. I was just wondering what took you so long. I Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. <laughs> I take wheelchairs for a spin all the time. I'm right ahead of you. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. Right, the wheelchair or the person in it? You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. Okay, what are we talking about? What are we going to learn out here, guys? So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Motorcycle? They see me rolling. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. Don't yet touch your subject that I would have mentioned that. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? Probably fuck all, I would say. No, nothing since he bailed way back then. Hashtag relatable. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon, then? Sharon? Yeah, there's no reason to bring it up now, is there? Uh, Mom's good, yeah. She's kind of between jobs right now, but things are okay. I'm glad to hear it. I was worried about how you two would cope in the city, considering Sharon's problems. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Is there an accident? Oh no. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. What happened? You don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th. 1981. Oh, we're gonna get back, sorry. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Deep, dead. Since that day, he never spoke a word, forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. So basically, he is part of the vegetable beverage, yeah. So I had to put that in there. Join the Discord server, subscribe. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Oh, just because I've already said. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first I even suspected he was having an affair. Oh. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. Oh, like PTSD, I think. Yeah, that's his exactly rifle. Right Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Huh? Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. Yeah, she just tried to make herself feel bad about the situation. Okay, what about the What do the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. Yeah. Vegetation! I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. Infection, okay, that's retarded. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. They were trying something wrong with him, you just don't want to admit. Yeah, I've heard of them. 
Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? As a, as a coincidence. Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? Yeah, he was there. <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. Well, something must have put him in that condition. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. Hmm. He later said that Weird. he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. See? Okay. You know, I could try to find out more about this. Yeah, right, we get the sheriff's office. You're Double welcome back. to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. And that's what we'll do. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station the for a little chat then. We're going to help the old get some closure. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. That's rare. Sure, you go ahead. They don't really go after people Let for tweets. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. All right, so... Oh, look at this coffee table. Oh, I'll take a cup of tea. Nah, I'm more of a coffee gal. Okay, is there a coffee then? Well, it's yeah, it would be kind of funny to see her reaction, but no. Oh, god damn it, you say? Just for a spot. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform. Looks to be in his early 20s. Oh, god. Alright. A decent sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo-jumbo. Washing away your sins, salvation, blah blah. There's also an address at the bottom. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. Getting my god on, now that just sounds like a porno. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. The rest of the house? Put the wheelchair. It was a joke, you know. Oh, you can't- oh, come on, ride the wheelchair! I got a dream that says Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels! Beat Love it. Come it on. It's a joke, you know. Oh, I'm that disappointed now. I wanted this to ride the wheelchair. Fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. The disabled guy is now sad. I, I wanted to ride the wheelchair in the game. A sm oh, let's go to the show station and I'll probably leave it. Leave this episode there. I'm going to do a longer intro episode to see you guys get a feel for this game, because probably a lot of you have seen this before, but I've never played it, and it's very interesting to me. Okay, we're at the sheriff's office. Let's, uh, talk to the receptionist. Sorry, that one the Hi. policeman. I don't know. Hello. Okay, well, he's... Do he's I have turning. to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing anything. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Yeah, well, I came in to ask a question, so you can be busy later. Hey, wait. I know you. Oh, now he changed his tone because he knows who it is. I'm pretty sure you don't. No, because he's probably saying, I want a piece of that ass, but that's really what he's answering. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Creepy, though, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Yep. No, just be honest. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. Oh, the sheriff may have more no information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. All right, let's, uh, Well, gotta go. Let's talk to the... See ya. Talk to the sheriff then, guys, shall we? Hello, sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. 
Oh, he's one of those, did he? Oh, God. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. Okay, can you be a bit more specific? I meant to be a cop. Give me some details, you dick. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. You should talk about it like he is now, yeah, that's all. It's like he was a cult leader or something. You're just a bit true state. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Yeah, that does. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Okay, really had the point there. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Oh, God damn it, man. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Yeah, me too. Not in this state, they ain't. Oh, this state sucks, then. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Yeah. Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? I am the law! You don't seem to be doing much, to be honest. Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? You should have an aneurysm. Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Uh, just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. What asshole. Yeah, well, let's see if we can distract Lenny so we can get some reports. Hey. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Hey. I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. I well, tried, gotta Doc. go. See ya. Okay, what do you like want to talk to me before I go? Look. Oh, I, I hit something. Sorry. Behind those doors. I think I missed that. Sorry, guys. Yeah, let's have a look. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Oh, okay, so they don't know I'm in here. Good, good, good. Nice, alright, so... Sneak in the back. Uh, keep going. Uh, evidence lockers, here we go. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'll need a key. Hey! No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Oh. Oh. So sad. Uh, do we get the desk and we can take talk to the bum? Hey. What? I can't eat. Oh. Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh. It it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. Oh, okay, you're moving the beer, I see. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. It's so bad that it's actually great. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. Is that a phobia? I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. I'm scared of the shopping carts. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Your father was killed by a shopping cart? Did what? How is that possible? Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. Uh -huh, Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. How about just get it delivered to your house? Oh, wait, it's only 95. You probably wouldn't be able to do that that much. Oh, you got to get food somehow. I'll get someone else to get it for you. I think I've heard enough, buddy. 
Yeah, that's right. Totally. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. The flashbacks? Some shopping carts? Oh my lord, why? You're next to me, you're telling me he identifies the shopping cart. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Oh no. Well, uh, I already, that's I already did this, uh, be... Alright, this one. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty oh, bucks. Oh, come on, mate. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. Done. <sighs> Deal. Yeah, yeah, got it. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make right, this all right, quick. All right, okay, okay. He's gone. Let's check his desk. You can see the sheriff won't notice, I hope. I see a bunch of keys to the evidence lockers. I could take one, but I need to know what I'm looking for first. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, should we read this? Did you kind of come with swing body walking forward or something? I don't know about Joseph Rain. He did not respond when such a swagger to he apparently to be dirty from head to toe when he woke up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder complete with tape. Being, cro being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and tried to back to town. Picked up Mrs. Rain, brought her along with Mrs. Rain, Mr. Rain to the emergency room, down the community clinic. Upon routine inspection, of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded from the back seat through fired in evidence locker five. Okay, here we go. Hmm. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's find the key it, to sorry. locker number five. Alright. Got it. Let's move like nothing happened. Lanny, I need you to do something. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. Oh, okay, they got distraction. How convenient. Okay, evidence for a five. Here we go. All right, got it. Hey, let's get out here. I'm never noticing. Hey, you never noticed. Good this guy. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. Uh. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Do I eat foot? Do, no, I don't eat feet. What the fuck are the questions? I mean, feet. Do I need to say foot instead of food? God, this guy's a funny. Uh, can he not talk to women? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. Me too. I feel that relatable. I, uh... Mate, it's, mate, it was a sarcasm. Jesus. Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Of course you eat food. Everyone eats food. What kind of question was that? Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And and then maybe we can eat the food together? You mean go out for dinner? You could have just said that. Yeah, there we go, yeah. I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. Undateable. Oh, come on, I said the right eat foot. Can't you? you? You just basically let him down gently. Why? Well, guys, this was part one of Cafe Rain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, long uh, first episode. Just to give you a taste of me playing this game. You might have seen it before, but it's new to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, links in the description to all my socials if you want to follow me. The best way to support me is subscribing. It's the best way out of all of the ways to help me. I really appreciate it. Trying to get to 100 subscribers, guys. So hopefully we can get there. I'll try and do a special run. I'm not sure what I would do for that. So, see you next time. Bye.